What's a good name, sir? Uh, this is Mohammed Ali Murthy, sir. Could you please tell me something about you, sir? Your personal life. Uh, well, I have always been obsessed with language English, and that's what my passion is. Uh, and this is what I've been doing since I was in the idea of Rostoka, since I was in my mother's name, right? I love English, and uh, I love teaching. I've been doing it for more, almost uh, 17 years, training, grooming individuals for stardom. They have been able to catapult themselves from obscurity to fame, so all because of uh, the grooming that we have done. And thanks to Allah the Almighty that He has chosen us for this noble profession. So, how long have you been uh, doing this teaching? Well, as far as teaching is concerned, I mean, it's very difficult to say that the number of years I've spent, but uh, as I said, that I've been doing it since my born days. <laughs> Uh, I mean, since I was a student of class four and five, uh, believe you me, I used to teach to the small kids. And I was a kid myself, but you know, teaching is something that moves in my blood. Uh, if you get my cells examined, you would find teaching all over. So how did you spend your career like that? Salad days, sir. Uh, I used to roam around um, and talk in English. I used to talk to the walls, pets, sir. Uh, Family bodies, as I said, that uh, I was passionate about English. I was infatuated with English. I had a strong desire and liking for English. Uh, I couldn't help talking to myself. Uh, and I always believe self talk is the best way to build up your confidence level. And that's what I used to do. And I was guided massively uh, by my grandfather, who's no more in this world. He encouraged me a lot, he motivated me a lot. And his uh, motivation has finally brought me here to this level. So how did you study your English game? In fact, uh, after having done my uh, matriculation, uh, you know, my father was an electronics engineer. He, he, he was unfortunate in Dallas's bed. And you know, bearing expensive dollars uh, is no joke. Uh, it requires hell of money. I mean, almost 50, 60,000 a month, and life became a challenge for me. We were in deep financial crunch. I had the opportunity to go abroad there in America, Australia, and, then, uh, and, and to choose any of the English speaking countries where I could uh, study and uh, earn my living. But I said, no. I mean, I got to stay with my dad because I love my, I used to love my dad a lot, and everybody uh, does it. Right? So uh, I, I stayed with my family, I, I served my father, right? and he, he survived uh, by the grace of God, and, he, and you know, he was given all medical attentions that he needed. And he was in Dallas's bed for 12 years. Uh, uh, but, uh, unfortunately, he's no more, he has died, and he passed away there back in um, 2008. So how complicated it was when you started the English English? Well, you know, uh, uh, just uh, when I flash back, uh, when I take uh, myself back uh, to early 2000, right, I find those days were tough, challenging, and you know, the society in which we exist, no one appreciates you, no one gods or values you for what you're doing, because you, you, you want to see yourself successful, not the world. The world wants to see you having failures in your life. Um, they always discourage you, demotivate you. But one thing that you need to take care of, your worth, your value, that you can do it, detoxify your life, uh, and get the losers out of your life, talk to yourself, what you can be, what you could be there in your life. Uh, maybe uh, you're not getting enough support from the people around, but take the initiative on your own, seeking help from the creator. I'm sure you can pave the way for gigantic success there in your life, and you will be able to achieve the unachievable. You'll be able to do uh, that, Few people have done it here in the society. So, why did you value? In fact, my parents wanted to see me as a speaker, but you know, I had this seed since I was born, and I knew it. I discovered it, and finally I made it. So, I guess I said they were the one in your family, but how did you do it? Well, you know, the journey begins, people join, they split away. It makes no difference to you, to your journey, that goes on. Very soon. Sir, how are you feeling at that time? Uh, feeling when? When you start your career. Uh, 
Well, feeling was, um, I knew that I will be able to, t to pitch up the flag of success. I knew I would be able to emerge as a hero, a champion, a conqueror. I knew that uh, Allah the Almighty had already bestowed me with uh, enormous talents, skills, flares, necks to ha stand head and shoulders above others, to prove my worth to the world that the world needs me, I don't need the world. So, I mean, when you begin your uh, career, you, you get knocked down badly. It's not about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you get hit in your life. You get lampooned mercilessly. I got lambasted publicly. Then I used to ask two questions to the people that, you are on God's earth or you are God on earth? The people used to say that. No, come on, what are you saying? We are on God's earth. Then I used to say that if you are on God's earth, then why have the hell are you claiming yourself to be God by saying that I wouldn't be able to achieve success? God knows about it. And uh, claiming uh, yourself to be God does not make any sense. You are a creation. You are not a creator. I know that Allah the Almighty has bestowed me with the talents and skills and I'm going to demonstrate all of them and I'm going to make the most of uh, the talents that he has given me and my success is certain and I know success is going to kiss my feet and today you can see the point or the level uh, where I am right now by the grace of God we have been able to train more than 700,000 students during the last 70 years of journey it's no joke, it's no picnic, it's not a duck soap, it's not a child's play how many of the institutions down in the city have done it? so it's only in your financial center did you have any support by your family or someone? Well, I, I count on myself. Uh, whenever I fall down, I take myself back to my feet. I know how to get myself back to the feet. It happens to you, right? And, and you experience it during your journey. So always seek help from the Creator. Instead of expecting somebody to step down from the heaven to help you, to serve you something right on the plate, I always believe in doing on my own. I never uh, take the support from any individual around. So how do you motivate yourself? Yeah, that's $64,000 question, right. You know, self-motivation works for you a lot. I mean, I believe that when you motivate yourself, I mean, the best way uh, to charge yourself, energize yourself, revitalize yourself, is to do the self-talk every day in the morning, so now you open up your eyes, uh, standing in front of a mirror, looking at the reflection, so asking yourself what you want, right? And uh, jot down on, on a piece of paper every day, so this is what I want to be. I, I want to be a businessman, I want to be an entrepreneur, I, I want to be a doctor, I want to be an engineer, I want to have a Rolls Royce, I want to have a jet. Whatever you want, whatever you hold in your mind, you get in your hand, you, you become what you think. Like attracts like. So when you start liking your ideas, your plans, program that you hold in your mind, automatically you invite the world to come and help you. Automatically you give invitation, open invitation to the world, individuals around to come and join you. And that happened to me. Uh, sir, the one thing, the one uh, question I would like to ask you, why just you the English? You can select many other skills also, but you just select the English. Yeah, I mean, uh, honestly speaking, uh, English, is, uh, is something that runs in my blood. You know, my fr grandfather uh, was uh, an engineer in Pakistan Railway, and he used to speak very good English, and my father used to speak very good English. He was an engineer, electronics engineer. Well, I mean, uh, we didn't have that uh, milieu, I mean, ambience at home. And that, in fact, guided me a lot, that motivated me a lot in my childhood. And I knew that I could be a very good English language speaker, trainer, motivational speaker, and a writer, a presenter, a debater, or a declamator. And by the grace of God, I've been able to turn my dreams into reality because of the fact that I believe in it, and, and I did it. So, any suggestion for us? How can we build our confidence? Confidence. Yes. You, you see, confidence level can only be built up by believing in yourself. That don't expect, as I said, uh, to, uh, from anybody to come and make you confident. Right? Be confident, no accident. As I said, talk to yourself and uh, do the self-talk. Self-affirmations can give you a lot of psychological support to overcome the psychological barriers you have in terms of building up your confidence level. Right? Talk to yourself, talk to the pets, talk to the heavenly bodies, talk to your creator. If you don't have anybody around to make you talk or learn, no problem at all. Just uh, keep the ball rolling on your own. Sir, have you ever been homeless? 
See, pessimism kills you. Be optimist, don't be pessimist, right? Have the mindset of optimism. Despondency kills you, it finishes you. You perish the moment you are uh, dejected in a way that you feel life is over, game is over. No, life's battle don't always go to the stronger, faster, sooner or later. The man who wins is the man who thinks he can. So, I mean, keep on fighting, engage yourself into the battle. Life is a battlefield, it's not a, a bed of roses uh, in which you find the bloody skirmishes and you keep on fighting till you breath last. You never give up until you win. That's what I did. No pain, no gain. Pains are there in your life. Pains are your best friend. Pains make you learn. Pains teach you. Pains uh, give you the hope to struggle and to believe and fight to finish. So, yeah. Have you achieved any lesson from your life? Any lesson from your life? Every single day that you spend uh, has something to learn. Every single stage, every single moment, you learn there in your life. Everybody makes mistakes. We are uh, fallible. We are capable of making mistakes. To err is human. We are not angels. We got to learn from the mistakes we are making. Unfortunately, the worst part is we don't learn from the mistakes we make. And that's why we keep on sinking deeper and deeper into the world of frustrations and depressions. So the best possible way to get out of it or the frustration that you feel you're in is to learn from the mistakes that you have made and make sure you're not repeating it again. So do you have any wish to be? What? So any, kind any, of, any kind of wish? Well, as long as you are alive, there are wishes and you keep on swimming in, in the ocean of desire. And... Uh, you know, by the grace of Allah the Almighty, I'm deeply indebted to my Creator for bestowing me with all that I don't truly deserve. Uh, yes, still I have the wishes. I mean, I have uh, a lot of, uh, uh, you know, things there in my list and I want to accomplish uh, all of them. Like, I want to have a university and uh, I, I want to have a hospital because my father died because of uh, renal failure. He had severe renal impairment uh, and I want to treat uh, uh, people having this disease uh, uh, without any cost, without any charge. Let's see which way the wind blows but I'm optimist uh, uh, that it, it would happen one day because I don't want to die without desires unfulfilled because uh, Les Brown says uh, the wealthiest place in the planet is not uh, the oil field in Arab, is not uh, the diamond mine in Africa it's the graveyard where thousands of people have been laid to rest uh, uh, and these people could not uh, realize their dreams the moment they were dying. They found the beloved ones uh, in their surroundings uh, and whispering uh, them that, uh, uh, okay, you are uh, I mean, uh, saying goodbye to this world, uh, but it's very sad. But there are a few things that you know that you haven't been able to achieve. It's really a sad part and I don't want to have the experience the moment I, was, uh, I break my last. Can you close it? From him, from the handle side. You know the goals that you set there in your mind. Uh, you have to work out a lot on achieving that. Uh, still, I believe I have a long, long way to go, um, and I'm trying to achieve all of the goals that I have set. I'm a very determined sort of guy. I'm determined, devoted, dedicated, disciplined, uh, and I stay cool, calm, and collected in crisis. I never lose my cool. I don't believe in storming in a teacup, and that's you know that's what you need to demonstrate so as to pave the way for the desired level of success. Unfortunately, many of us lose our temper over petty things so that turns out to be disaster. So our last question is this. Sir, any suggestion for us? How can we become our best speaker? Well, talk, talk, and talk. Talking is like playing a golf, driving a car, owning a store. More you do it, better you get at it, the more fun you have doing it. But you have to understand certain fundamentals first. Every one of us has been blessed with certain talents and skills, but you need to do a lot of practice to turn your talent into skills. The best of the 
uh, cricket players, hockey players, squash players, they still do a lot of practice, sir to turn their talents and skills and this is what you can do. You need to do self-practice, you need to talk to the world, you need to communicate uh, to yourself every day so as to make sure that every single day there in your life is bringing you a message to make a change there in your life. Uh, uh, learn vocabularies, uh, make a list of vocabularies, put them into your uh, phrases and repeat them again and again, no matter you have someone around or not, you can talk to yourself. As I said, self-talk is one of the ways to help you improve your communication skills. This is uh, the best way, one of uh, the most effective tools indeed to build up the confidence level and to uh, do better talking. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you welcome. for the welcome. Uh, welcome, the gentlemen. Time. So yeah, nice of nice you, work. pleasure to have you here at Anglophile English Learning Center. Yeah. And I just want to say that Anglophile has always been a quality driven institution. Our unmatched commitment to offer the best English language ambience has earned a phenomenal growth. And we want to see 100 personal in Pakistan. With that in mind, we are working around the clock to put the nation back on track. Hopefully, we are going to be one of the greatest nations on earth, technologically advanced, economically stable. Inshallah, that day is coming fast. It's around the corner. It's fast approaching will be a great nation. Long live Pakistan. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Same here.